Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in content marketing, we'll discuss about the various media channels that are associated in actually spreading the disseminating the content that we write across multiple channels. What are those media channels that are associated that can be leveraged to spread the content that we write? What are media channels in the first place? Media channels are those platforms that are leveraged to spread content. The content marketing that we do, we do content marketing on various platforms. What are those various platforms that we use and leverage to spread the content? They can be blogs, the website, the landing pages, the social media, the PR sites, then you've got guest blogging. You actually use multiple media channels to actually spread the content create the awareness, generate traffic, convert them into leads and that leads into more and more conversion. There are multiple channels that are available and those channels need to be used and spread across multiple channels to get the kind of traffic that you are looking at. How these media channels work? Interact, engage and communicate with social media traffic and drive traffic to website and landing pages. We actually use and interact on the social media platforms. Social media is all about listening. What we actually listen in is listening to the end user, what the user wants, how the user wants, what are the issues, concerns and challenges that users are looking on social media. Social media is all about listening to the people. When you listen, you interact, you communicate and you engage with people. When you engage with people, you are able to provide the kind of content or kind of services that they are looking for. When they are, when you know exactly what the users are looking, you will be in a much better position to actually provide them the kind of services solution that you are looking at. When you interact them, you engage with them, you actually explain things, you drive the traffic to your website, the blogs and the landing pages, that actually generates the conversions for you. Blog articles offer beneficial content. Blogs are extremely important part. Blogs can be created and integrated on the website. You can create external blogs on blogger.com, on WordPress, even on Tumblr. You can do guest blogging as, as many as possible. The more you use blogs, the more you leverage blogs, the more you spread valuable content, that content actually creates the backlinks. It actually generates traffic for you. It has multiple benefits. Email campaigns build loyal customers. If you have the data, the opt-in data, you can leverage the data in actually sending emails, running, executing email campaigns. When you do email campaigns, do only solicited email campaigns, not the unsolicited email campaigns. The difference between solicited email campaigns and the unsolicited email campaigns is basically is that you actually provide the forms on the website, the landing pages and the blogs. The user registers there by giving their email ID to receive emails from them from you. This is what solicited email marketing campaign is concerned. The unsolicited email marketing, you pick up emails randomly from somewhere, even you buy an email ID from somewhere, you actually send emails to them. That is not going to work. That is unsolicited emails. Those people have not requested emails from you and you are sending them emails. You, usually they end up in the spam box. Do solicited email campaigns and that actually works. That builds loyal customers for you. Landing pages specifically built to drive targeted traffic. Landing pages are built specifically to promote a product, a service or a solution. You write the complete content. The content has to flow like a story on a landing page. What you are talking about, what are the features of your product, what are the benefits of the product, how that product will help the customers and what, has the, what are the testimonials that you have got, what is the case study that you have got, what is your past performance. You mention each and everything and the kind of services you provided to a particular customers, who are your customers, the clientele. Provide the complete information related to a particular product or a service and landing pages actually generate the traffic. They may come organically or through paid marketing traffic to a solution. This is actually what basically is all about. Your, it could be a product, a target, a solution or a service. Landing pages provide the complete information as far as driving traffic to a particular product or a service or a solution is concerned. And what are basically the methodologies that you can in, 
in, implement as far as communication is concerned, communication methodology, create content that spreads. The first and foremost important point is create content that actually spreads across multiple channels. We talk a lot about building links in SEO. What is building links in SEO is all about, it is not about we actually forcefully create links outside to in some, on some other sites. That is not going to work. We are actually creating links. That is not the way the links are to be created. The links have to be created organically. When you spread content, when you, can't, when you write an excellent article on a blog or on social media, an article that is valuable, that is beneficial, that provides a lot of information, that provides a solution to a problem, you write an excellent article. And when you write articles, write articles that are nearly 2000 words to 2500 words. That is what actually the kind of article. You have written a fantastic article of 2500 words and that article actually is published on your website or even on social media. When people write that article, that people share that article by themselves. They post it on their websites, on the blogs. When, when they post it, they actually create the automatic backlinks. And that is how the links have to be created. The links have to come naturally. And they come when the content is spread, when you write valuable content. And that is how the content actually works. Listening to the audience. The more you listen to the audience, the better. The more you listen to the audience, you, the more you will be able to map the content against their requirements. Address audience issues, concerns, challenges, and the pain points. The more you actually listen to the con users, the more you listen to the customers, the more you will be able to understand their issues, their concerns, their challenges, and their pain points. The more you understand them, the more valuable beneficial information is provided. Include an emotional ask. Interact, engage at a personal level and tell them that this is what you are going to do and this is how it will help them and pitch an at emotional attachment to it. Ask emotional questions and tell them that these are the services that will benefit them and tell them to take an action. Value proposition is an extremely important point. The more the value you create for the users at the end of the day, the more the beneficial. The more the beneficial to the customer, the more they are happy. The more they are happy, the more the conversions. Trust, loyalty and relationship. Extremely important point in business. The more you they trust you, the more they are loyal you, the more the relationship. The more the relationship, they actually, your past customers, your customers will become your spokespersons. The day when your customers become your spokespersons, your business will grow. And if you, that, that is to happen, then there has to be trust, there has to be loyalty, and relationship has to be built. Turn customers into spokespersons. This is how it actually works. When the day the customers turn spokespersons, the businesses will grow. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what are media channels, how media channels work and the communication methodology. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.